Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm really excited to show you one of my absolute favorite looks at the moment. Sultry, sexy eyes and dramatic lashes paired with a pinky nude lip make this look a perfect for a date night. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. So first things first, I'm gonna moisturize. My Clinique Dramatic Different Moisturizer is one of my favorites at the moment. It leaves my skin hydrated throughout the entire day. Then I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Priming Water to prime my face and I'm gonna let it set while I'm doing my eye makeup. To prime my eyelids, I'm using the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Medium and I'm blending it out with a Beauty Blender. This will conceal any veinage and will create a clean canvas for my eyeshadow. I'm also going to set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this will make eyeshadow blend much more easily. To map up my crease, I'm picking up the Force of Nature from my Tartlet Palette, which is a neutral soft brown. This is a perfect transition color for any makeup look and will help blend out all the other eyeshadows I'm going to be applying. Same palette, I'm picking up the shade Dreamer and I'm applying it onto the outer V of my eye, just slightly bringing it onto the crease but not all the way. For a perfectly blended eyeshadow, you always want to go back with your transition color and blend all the darker shades out. That's why I'm going back in with my Stigma E40 and I'm just lightly blending everything out. Now grabbing my Anastasia self-made palette, I'm going to go in with this dark brown in the shade Hot Chocolate and I'm going to darken that out a bit. I'm also going to be just defining my crease a little bit more and Again, going in with the transition color, just blending it all out so I make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous bronzy shade from the same ABH palette and I'm going to place it onto the entire lid. Being it's a shimmery eyeshadow, I'm just going to lightly spritz my brush with a little bit of a fix plus and that way make it appear just a little bit more vivid. I'm also making sure I don't bring it all the way into the crease because I still want the gradient I made to appear visible and shadows well blended. To outline my upper lash line, I'm using my Rimmel Scandalized Eye Coal and I'm applying it tightly to the lash line with a liner brush. I'm not going in for a wing liner or anything like that, I'm just mostly concealing the lash line so I can apply my falsies. And for that, I'm going to be using my velour lashes in Fluff and Wispy which are super sexy and dramatic and are going perfectly with this look. On to the face, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. To get the most even and flawless coverage, I'm applying it first with a flat synthetic brush, making sure it's distributed evenly. And then, I'm grabbing my Tarte Kabuki brush and I'm buffing it into the skin. This is the way I found works the best for me and it's making a little bit of foundation go a really long way. Never drag your foundation all the way to your neck. I see a lot of people making this mistake in fear not to have their neck differs from their face color but actually the real tip is to stop your foundation right at the angle of your chin it makes a perfect shadow for you to kind of phase it out now to set my foundation i'm using my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade medium and this way my foundation will stay intact for the entire day and will not break out or slide off my face dark circles get a little crazy, I always reach for my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's salmon light pinky shade, counteracts with the blue and evens out the skin tone underneath the eyes. To highlight, I'm using my Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Medium, the same one I used to prep my eyelids and I'm applying it onto the areas of my face I want to brighten up and bring forward. Underneath my eyes in the triangle form, down the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead and onto my chin. To blend it out, I'm using my damp beauty blender and with tapping motions, I'm just lightly pressing it into the skin, being careful not to drag the product around, but to leave it in places where I applied it at. And to set it in place, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just lightly dusting it everywhere I applied my concealer. To contour my face, I'm using my all-time favorite contour kit by Kat Von D. 
To give my face some dimension, I'm picking up this medium ashy brown in the shade Shadow Play and I'm applying it onto the house of my cheeks, the sides of my forehead and onto my jawline. So I just sort of mapped out where I want my contours to be the most prominent and then I'm grabbing my trusty MAC 188 dual fiber brush and I'm going to soften these harsh lines out, this way getting a more natural looking contour. under my contour, I'm using one of these cosmetic sponges I always keep handy when doing my makeup. I'm dredging it onto the loose translucent powder and just placing it onto the areas I want to clean out or just make more neat looking. Orange blush really complements the brown and the brown shades I use in my eyes. That's why I'm grabbing this beautiful eyeshadow by Milani in the shade Mandarin and I'm lightly applying it onto the apples of my cheeks with my Real Techniques brush. And then I'm topping it off with a oldie but a goodie Luminoso by Milani. It's this beautiful big blush that just gives a perfect amount of glow to my face. And then I'm just dusting off the excess powder and voila, our face is all done. To perfect my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate and I'm just brushing it through my brows with a spoolie. Now to finish up the eyes, I'm grabbing the Hot Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills and with a flat definer brush, I'm applying it as close as possible to my lower lash line. Then I'm grabbing the transition shade and I'm smoking it all out with a pencil brush. longer lip liner in the shade Staunchly Stylish, which is sort of a mauve pink shade that is really similar to a natural lip color. This makes it perfect to pair with a nude lipstick. I'm slightly overlining the center of my lips and then filling them in. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood, which is my absolute holy grail of nude lips. It is so beautiful and I really think it complements this look so well. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video.